Hey, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to Better Connecticut. It's Tuesday, and it's gym day, apparently. It's gym day. Tuesday's gym day. <laughs> I wear my shorts underneath my pants. That's what we used to do in elementary school. Uh -huh. No, I wore these specifically to show that my legs are completely white, and they are not tan, because the woman wrote in, and she said that I'm, oh, turning, into, so I'm turning into the tan mom. And I'm like, no, this is just my natural color. I don't go out in tan. I've never been in a tanning bed. Anyway. You got uh, a little color in the floor. But listen, the reason you're really in that is we have a push-up challenge coming up that is supposed to determine a man's cardiovascular health, so stay tuned because we're going to have you. 40, 40, what If is you this? can do 40 push-ups um, consecutively, you're in, in a way better shape cardiovascular than men who cannot. I, I, so I, I, I honestly don't know up. if I can do 40. We're going to have that coming up in the first. In the meantime, Meghan Markle is in New York City, so if you're in New York City over the course of today, Check it out. Meghan Markle, keep your eyes out for Meghan Markle. She's in there for her first baby shower. She's in there for a baby shower. These are if the rumors are true, but, you know, the, apparently, so she has a best friend, oh, Jessica wow, Mulroney. Wow, she's really... Yeah, just, she really popped in this photo, or right? video, this is rather. last week. Um, she looks great. Her best friend is and her stylist is throwing the party. Yeah, best friend, Jessica Mulroney and stylist, and she's apparently going to be... Um, Having an Uber exclusive, only 15 guests. So. 50, so there's 13 left because there's me and you, and then 13 <laughs> other people. So uh, I don't know who else. The did 13 you other did people you get a be. gift? Did you know what to get her? I knew I got a I got her a silver spoon from Tiffany. Oh. What just, do you think, right? Because the properties of silver that we discussed on the show earlier, I figured that would be a good idea. Yeah, and I'm sure they don't have any of those in the palace. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So could it be true? Of course, it's true. Are these guys reuniting and going on tour? Take a look. Yes. Yes, because Joey and Kevin both looked at Nick and said, we need more money. We need to go on tour with you, Nick, since you're the only one who's gone on to do most things. <laughs> we need to be with you. So let's let's have a party. Uh, anyway, the. Those are the rumors swirling, and uh, the Jonas Brothers, it wouldn't be called the Jonas Brothers, it'd just be Jonas, but apparently Nick has liked a few tweets where people have saying, I hope you guys go on tour, so the, the speculation is it's oh, definitely happening. Oh, of course, they're going to go on tour. Everybody needs money. All right, designer <laughs> Karl Lagerfeld has died. Sad, very sad, but he was the visionary behind, you know, he got Chanel back up, and, uh, you know, the visionary behind Chanel. This classic, iconic man. Look at that look, Kara. I know. You can only do that if you're Karl Lagerfeld. But very influential. He was uh, born in Germany, and apparently at a young age in the 50s, he won yeah. a women's design competition, and that set him on his path, but he went on. There was speculation that he wasn't doing well when he didn't show up for the Chanel show in January. They said he was suffering from tiredness, but... Uh, he was certainly a vision. Yeah, he took Chanel over in 1983. Yeah. Chanel, Chanel. I mean, it's still to the to the mm. today. That is n the name, Chanel. You gotta have it. Got All it. right, guys. If you want to live a little uh, longer, you better get doing those push-ups. So this is a new Harvard study that says that men can avoid heart problems. Well, th they studied men and they found that those who could do 40 push-ups consecutively had a 96 percent less risk of cardiovascular disease, 96%. 40 push-ups in a row. In a row, than those men who could not do 10. All right. All right. So, so I hope you can do more than now, 10. Now, honestly, I don't, I don't honestly know if I can do 40 push-ups. Okay, are you gonna do the real ones? I'm gonna do the real ones. Okay, guys. All right, so ready? There, there's no time constraint. No time constraint. Other Just than we have satellite with 40 push-ups, but I have a minute and a half, according <laughs> to Tracy, the producer. Ready? One, two, three, four, go lower. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, lower, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Yeah, you're going to live. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My head is rushing. Uh, now you really do look red-faced. Oh, my God. <laughs> but that's really good. And so, you know, they were wondering if a lot of men are going to try that at home. Can I do 40? Because if you ha I know you, you do exercise. If you haven't been, then working up to 40. But there is a big link they discovered with heart disease. So good job. All right. We're moving on to Charlize Theron. Yeah. You know, the commercials that were in the Super Bowl were getting all the attention. Now, what about the Oscar commercials? Well, Budweiser just released an ad uh, for the Academy Awards. I can't ceremony. breathe. Yeah, I'll just do the talking. Keep talking. Anyway, Charlize Theron did a lot more than push-ups in this ad. Take a look. <laughs> Woo! I'm there.
Hold my beer. Actually. So it's just begun. Go, and I think it's very she does a ton of things while holding the beer, and she Just never drew, spills a drop. Not a drop. Everything while she holds her beer. Which is amazing. Because you know that's tricky. <laughs> okay, look at her, Charlize Theron. Good for her. Okay. That's 